welcome to a sloppy old salt fix this morning. It's been a while since I was last out. I've had a lot going on at home and just sort of taken a bit of a break. So, but I've been frothing to come out and try and have a crack at some kings again. Today's my RDO. As usual, the forecast is not what they said it was gonna be. But I've had a bit of a change of plans. I couldn't go where I wanted to go. So I've just sort of tucked into one of these reefs a bit closer in than where I normally go. Um, I'm, I'm within a cast of that whitewash or the uh, foamy white water over here. So I'm gonna chuck a couple of stick baits around. See if we can't turn up a king, I don't know. I'm not super confident today to be quite honest with you. But I don't care, I'm out here. I'm out at sea, I'm getting bounced around, I'm getting some fresh air and I'm not at work, so that's a win. So I'll get set up and I'll have a few casts over here and see if we can't turn up something. So I'm going with a 90 mil shiver stick. And then the net just about snapping one. I'm going with a 90 mil shiver stick. Uh, fished on the beautiful Diver Soul combo again from Southside Fishing and Boating. So I'm just going to toss this around. It's a bit of a white foamy wash zone over here. That's where they'll be hanging out generally. Um, sometimes you can entice them out. I've got a little bit of bread and some oil in the water. Normally if you can get a few herring and some um, guardies or whatever going in the burley trail, you'll bring the kings in. Um, I'm not burling like crazy like I would if I was fishing for snapper. Just enough to sort of bring in some, um, just sort of get the food chain work and maybe get a few herring in, in the trail. And then the kings will generally come in if that's the case. Uh, so anyway, we'll see. Let's see if they're home. Righto, so that's been pretty unsuccessful. Woo, nearly fell in. I've given it probably an hour, hour and a half for just continually casting. Um, I've been throwing around the big shiver stick. I've also thrown around the small shiver stick. Um, the herring, skippy, there's just nothing. It's just dead in here today, I don't know why. Um, but generally, if there's no bait or no activity, then the kings aren't gonna be here anyway. So what I'm gonna do is have a change of plan. Just behind me here, there's a great big sandy patch. So what I'm gonna do is I put on a bit of a, I'll put on a, um, just like a sabiki sort of rig. Got a couple of small small bits of bait on that, and I'm just gonna drift over this sand, see if I can't pick up a heap of sand whiting. Um, at least I'll get some crispy fried sand whiting for lunch. So I'm gonna pull the pick up, probably throw my sea anchor out, and then drift over this sand, and see if I can't pick up some lunch. Whining. Oh, I've got to tell you, it's a hell of a lot nicer drifted on the chute than it is sitting an anchor inside that reef there. It was pretty bloody untidy and ugly inside that reef there. So I'm just sort of drifting over this sandy patch here. It's got some tiny little bits of muley on my little sabiki rig here. This one's only got two hooks because I don't know, I find they get tangled up really easy if you have any more than that. So hopefully I can just score a couple of, couple of whiting, I don't know, four, six whiting maybe, probably be enough for my lunch. Fingers crossed anyway. Turns out this whiting thing's not too hard really. Just drop a bait down and they're all over it. Straight in. There's another one. I don't know. I don't know how many of these guys it's going to take for a feed. I reckon six or eight, maybe. Myself and Lee. I'll drop it back down again. The only problem with these sabiki rigs is they get really tangled up really easily. But I don't know. I'm only dropping in like five meters of water here. 
eight meters. I'll just let it go down slowly. If you just drop it to the bottom, sometimes I can spin around and get tangled up. I'm just slowly letting it down. Let's see if I can get a double header. Hit straight away. Just gonna leave it in a bit longer, see if I can get two. Ah, I'm bringing up while I got them. Come on, baby. Well, I might have two on here or a bigger one. Yeah, I got two. Look at that. Double header. I reckon two more of those and I'm done, I'm out of here. That's my lunch sorted. Actually, I'm going to have a swim before I go. Oh wow, the hits are coming. As soon as he hits the bottom, the hits are just straight away. There's no shortage of these little whiting around, that's for sure. If you're after a feed, this is an easy way to get one. Just find a sandy patch. Oh, yeah, I think I might have two on again here. Ah, just the one. Oh, he's better. He's a better one. The wind has actually dropped out a little bit. It's nowhere near as rough as it was early this morning, but... Geez, I tell you what, I got bounced around in near, in near that reef this morning. I don't often get seasick, I yeah, very rarely get seasick, but I gotta admit I was feeling a bit seedy before when I was, I drank my coffee and then I sort of had a bit of a regret that I drank it. Just sitting there rocking around and my guts were starting to churn. I thought, nah, it's time to go. That's when I decided I'd drift and try and see, see if I can get some of these whiting, which is turning out to be okay for now. Oh, straight away. Alright, oh, no, that's it. That's enough for me for my lunch. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have to swim, bugger. Shorts up. And let's go for a swim. That's fresh. cook up those whiting, do a bit of a catch and cook with those whiting. Um, I haven't cooked them up for years, but I'll make up some lunch myself and leave. So this is, I think, the fourth fourth time I've been out hunting kings around these reefs. Um, the fourth time I've blanked out. Three times, the last three times we've seen the kings, they've been there, and I've seen them zipping around behind the boat and following lures and whatnot, but they just haven't committed. Today I didn't see him at all, but like I mentioned before, there was no bait, there was no herring, there was just nothing around. Um, if I had got a herring, I would have stuck a live bait out just to see if I could tempt one that way. But I'll stick at it. Uh, fishing wasn't meant to be easy. Um, I know a lot of people just want to pull up at a spot and start catching big fish, but that's not the way it works. I've caught a few of these kings now. Uh, we've been lucky and just sort of got there at the right time. 
but yeah obviously it's not as easy as I thought it was first gonna be so I'm gonna stick at it I really do want to get one on a stick bait um, I've got them on the plastics before but I'm really keen to get one on a stick bait and maybe I'll leave on the poppers and flies after that if we can get into them but as the water warms up hopefully a lot more bait will start showing up and they'll get a bit more aggressive and we'll start getting into them so I'm gonna burn home and then I'll cook up these whiting when we get back Alright, so it's still pretty early and the breeze hasn't whipped up yet. So myself and Lee are going to jump on the quad and burn down the beach and cook up these whiting for breakfast. So we're down on the beach, self and Lee. The wind is actually not too bad. It looks quite nice. Probably could have stayed out for an extra few hours. Anyway, all I got in here is some, just some flour with a bit of pepper and a bit of salt in there. And in here, I've just got those couple of whiting I caught this morning. All I did was take the heads off them and pull the guts out of them. I'm just gonna roll him in a bit of flour in here. Roll him in and then straight on the barbecue with him. I'll get a couple of them in there, I think. Let's just dust them in flour and chuck them on there, they smell all right. Woo. Well, these are ready, that didn't take long at all. They actually smell really good, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh that one linked off there. Just put them on there to cool down a bit. We will be taking our rubbish home with us, unlike the last pigs that have been here and left stubbies and whatever else laying around. Um, we'll do a bit of a clean up before we leave as well. I don't know, I don't understand people who come out the bush to get away from it all and then leave their rubbish laying around. It just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we'll clean this up before we leave. I reckon they're ready to go, I'm going to eat that sucker right there. Go. Always fins off. Mmm. Yeah, beautiful. Crunch for a bit of bone. Well, oh, meat's beautiful. Let's have a look at this. This stuff just peels off the backbone anyway. Look at that beautiful white flesh. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Good. Right, it falls apart. You do get like little spiny ones. Are these? Bone. Beautiful white flesh. Uh, people are leaving their shit laying around. So I put off a bit of a comment on their channel uh, about a week or so ago with a few um, asking if anyone had any questions I want to ask. So Lee's got a, a list of a few questions there and I'll go through them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, just play by ear. <laughs> uh, first question. What is your profession and how the hell do you go fishing more than me? <laughs> uh, I work for a local council, so I finish at 3 o'clock every afternoon and I work nine day fortnight, so um, every fortnight I get a long weekend, I get the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's how I go fishing, but um, I just make the effort. I get home from work and I go. Uh, it's easy to procrastinate and talk about going actually going takes a bit of motivation don't get me wrong i have to push myself sometimes but i'm always glad i did what is your most memorable bycatch my most memorable bycatch most memorable bycatch i think would have to be earlier on this year when i got a shark back while we were snapper fishing um that was totally unexpected i didn't really yeah i didn't realize that Shark mackerel sort of frequented Perth waters and yeah to catch that was a bit out of the blue So yeah, that was probably my most memorable bycatch Have you got a dream fish to catch? Dream fish to catch uh, I'd really like to catch a wahoo and I'd probably like to 
go jigging over Christmas Island or something for Wahoo and dogtooth tuna in the big canyons over over in Christmas Island and some you know some deep water jigging for um, some massive pelagics. Do you fish in the river in Australia and do you prefer river or sea? We do fish in the river a little bit. Um, we tend to head up to Moore River a little bit and sometimes in the Swan River. I'm not huge on the on the river. I, I, don't, I like cruising the river. The river's nice and it's always nice and peaceful and a good place to spend a day with the family, have a swim. But yeah, black brim, I'm not big on eating them. I don't know, I don't get too excited about catching them, but every now and then I'll fish in the things. That, but I much prefer the sea. It's just more dynamic. It's cleaner, um, much more to see. There's always something happening. If you could choose one quality in an offshore boat, what would it be? Ride in chop or stability? Yeah, this one's a confusing one, actually. <sighs> stability, I don't know, I'd have to, I don't know, ride in chop or stability. I'd probably go with ride in chop, because if you live in Perth, you know, we're always dealing with some sort of slop, whether it's a sou'wester or a cranking south south easterly, there's always some sort of chop and it's nice to have a boat that cuts through the chop and rides nicely. Um, stability at rest, I don't know. Most, most boats sit pretty decent once they settle down. Most boats aren't too bad at rest, so I'd probably go with, um, yeah, riding the chop. What's happening about your new donk and your fuel tank? All right, I gotta be honest with you. The new donk, I'm procrastinating, that's what it is. Um, I've been looking around at a couple of boats and um, I haven't really found anything I like at the moment. I'm still looking, I'm thinking about moving up to a six metery, but at the moment nothing's really jumping out at me that I'm, you know, gonna run out and buy. I've had a lot going on at home recently and circumstances have changed a bit. I have got the go ahead to get a new boat if I want one, but at the moment I'm still sort of looking and still, I don't know, I just, the size of the boat I've got now is really handy, really versatile, and yeah, every time I look at something else, I think, what's this gonna do that mine's not doing now, and it's an extra 60 grand. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm still procrastinating. I, yeah, I don't know, I can't even answer that question at the moment. The fuel tank, I will run a video. Um, that's uh, Chevy the 80, isn't it? He always, he's always commenting on my videos. Yeah, yeah, Chev, I will, got a bit of footage left. Lee lost some of the footage off our card. We did a whole fuel tank install thing, but I'll see what we've got left and I'll run a bit of a video on the fuel tank to show you what I did there. Last question, when are you going fishing with Dom? When am I going fishing with Dom? I have actually been in contact with Dom and we've talked a few times. Um, we did tee up to go a couple of, oh, it was about a month ago before the snapper ban now, but he got a, he had something else going on that day. But yeah, we will tee it up in the future when the snapper come back on. I would like to get Dom out and get him onto the snapper. Uh, if I can actually figure out how these kingfish work and get them a bit more reliable, I'll take Dom out and get him onto the kings as well. But yeah, all failing that, I might just tee up a session with Dom just to go up the river or something and just sit and have a chat because he looks like he's a bit of a funny fella and probably have a laugh anyway. Last question, when are we going for a swim? When are we going for a swim? Uh, we're just gonna pack up now, clean up some stuff, head up the beach and go for a swim. Yes. And How good is this? Pretty much got the whole beach to ourselves. We're gonna go and have a nice little swim. Ew! Oh! <laughs> That's it for us today. Um, I might give it a crack tomorrow. See, the forecast is not great again, but I might give it a go because I'm desperate. Hopefully, I'll um, hopefully I'll get a handle on these kingfish soon, and we'll be able to start catching some big fish and um, showing you how we do that. I don't know, it's been a bit frustrating lately, but that's fishing. I'll get it eventually, I'll just keep at it until we do unlock it. But those whiting were delicious, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Anyway, we're going to finish our swim, dry up, and then burn home because Lee's got a uni class in about 
10 minutes, and I don't reckon we're going to make it. <laughs> See you in the next episode. Ew!